Welcome back. We're continuing our rendezvous and proximity operations sequences videos for Astrogator. Uh, we're now going to look at the set delta V sequence. And this is another one of our uh, configuration sequences that you know, does kind of uh, the typical things that you would do yourself, uh, but it does them in a particular way uh, that supports the RPO workflows. Um, and so if you look here at the set delta V sequence uh, and kind of see what the parameters are, this uh, sequence, it adds a delta V that's specified in the radial, in-track, and cross-track reference frame um, at the current time. You enter the desired delta V to add at that time, and then um, it just applies it. That's pretty simple. Um, if we're using a, we have the option to choose between a finite or an impulsive maneuver, and if we're using a finite maneuver, we specify the engine name uh, for the maneuver. So here it's a rendezvous engine. Um, so this, um, Sequence has already been configured. We just have a set reference vehicle. We have a set initial state uh, sequence, and then we have the set delta V. And then so that we can see what happens, we have a, a propagate after that. Um, so let's go ahead and just run this. I believe it was previously run, but it doesn't hurt to do it again. Um, and then just go ahead and set the animation time to the beginning of that set delta V um, sequence. And we'll zoom in the 3D graphics to our RPO satellite. So kind of back out a little bit here, kind of see where we start. So um, and make it big so that you guys can see it too. Uh, and then you see with that uh, small delta V that we added, we're going to move away uh, from our initial state with respect to the target vehicle and, and, and invoke some motion. Um, and so let me just turn up my animation time a little bit here um, and play and we see, there we go. We are in motion after we performed our delta V. Um, we can kind of spin it around and see kind of different views of what's going on. Um, but that's what the set delta V sequence does. And that one can be found um, if you need to insert it at any point from the RPO configuration folder. And all right. Thanks.